Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Um, this is my third video of the day, third and last video of the day. Um, this is my Sensi haul. Part of it is the warehouse sale that we just had. And part of it is just um, a FOMO purchase. And then the other one is I had um, I had a warmer, the prairie warmer, and it um, the handle broke. So that's now upstairs in my bedroom, but I really liked it here in my kitchen. So I needed another one, and I figured I might as well order some bars while I'm at it. So that's what this haul is. Um, the previous haul I did was the homeworks, um, the carnival collection. And then the one before that is just a collective book haul. I I was gonna try and do like a separate, like create a separate book channel. I don't have time for that. That's just a lot of work. I mean, you guys, I just I just do this video on my phone, so not a whole lot of editing editing. It's a one hit wonder, one take and I'm done and I just upload it. This is just for fun. I'm not trying to like do anything with it. It's just for fun. Um, I don't have a whole lot of friends who um, are like deep into scents, deep into perfumes um, and whiskeys. I mean, I, my friends are, are who I work with at the winery and then some of the fire wives at my husband, you know, my husband, their wives. Um, anyways, so this is just me trying to connect with other wax candle lovers, book lovers, um, anyone who can relate to um, a, a stupid amount of perfume and, and fragrance and taste and all of that. So um, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah. Anyways, so what I usually like to start off with is what I am drinking for the day for the day. That just sounds really bad. What my drink is for the moment and the perfume for the moment. So let's start off with the perfume. This is from the house of Oud. Um, one of my favorites, this is what about pop? So this is popcorn, caramel, Madagascar, vanilla, vetiver, ambergies, uh, ambergy, however you want to say it. Um, it's like 75 degrees out here in the Bay Area and freaking it's so windy right now so this is just a like a, a cozy but not heavy fragrance this is just a lot of fun anyways so that's what that is um, I will link where you can get it down below if anyone's interested um, there's also a place it's called scent split I will link that down below as well. Um, it's, you can get uh, samples of it. I think like you can get samples of high end perfumes and that might be one of them that you can get. Anyways, um, what I have a glass of whiskey. Now you guys, this is kind of watered down. I, I added another ice cube to it. Um, see the big ice cube. Like it is, it is watered down. This is the, the Willet um, Straight Rye Whiskey. Um, this is 55% alcohol and it's 110% 110 proof. So it's a little spicy going down. However, if you do what I did, and let it sit and water down it's not so spicy going down and you get the flavors so it's just real it's smoky um, I pick up um, a little um, not earthiness but I feel like I'm picking up some some smoke and some wood um, slight vanilla nothing crazy but it's a really nice one so anyways now that I've talked like five minutes, five minute intro, y'all, um, let's get out of this page and let's go to, um, let's go to the Scentsy page 
maybe. I think I need a new um, one of these guys because this is super slow. But it also kind of, when it gets windy around here, sometimes it gets a little, also a little weird. Okay, so I've opened up boxes. I have four boxes. So let's go with the small one here. This one is um, in my other haul video that I did. I said I went back a few times and um, purchased when I realized what was in the bakery bundle, I went back. So I ordered two originally and then I went back and I ordered four and then I went back and I ordered five. So I would say I'm set but it's got some amazing, it's got some scents in there that I know I'm going to burn through like vanilla waves. I'm hoping I can like make that last and maybe um, it'll come back in, bring back my bar. That would be fantastic. So let's, oh, loud, sorry. Let's open this bad boy up. Wow. I've never had an issue opening these guys. Usually they're pretty easy. Not today, Satan. Okay, there we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so it came with a pack because we've been in the mid. For a while we were in the 80s and 90s and now it's in the 70s which and windy, which would explain my headache. I get really bad headaches when it's really windy out here sometimes. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four of the pink sugarberry mint. This one I'm kind of questionable on. Um, I will definitely warm a couple of cubes and then go from there. Um, see if I have any, usually I have a box of stuff of bars that I've, I've started and I just realized I don't like. Um, and the, that usually goes in a box. And then when I have my friends come over, I will, you know, try and pawn it off of them. So, okay, so four of that. And then we got the, van the four of the vanilla waves, which I am so bummed that I slept on this and didn't put any in my club. So I'm hoping it comes back for a BBMB and we can vote it back so I can put it in my club because this is a stunning vanilla scent. I, I really like it. It's not cakey. Um, it's, um, it's kind of perfumey, but it's also sun tanny. If that makes any sense. Um, the other one I am really excited about you guys is this breakfast in bed. This one is like I get scone or muffin, like cranberry spice. Um, this is just, this is gorgeous. This is a really yummy bakery scent. Happy, happy I have that. Um, the other one is the red, white, and berry pie. This one is also really good. I'm not picking up pie crust. And I don't know. I don't know about this one. This is kind of very sh sharp, I guess you could say. But I will definitely, once again, warm up a couple cubes. Um, I'll, I'll probably let this sit for a little bit. I don't know when this was poured. I can't tell. 
I can't tell when that was poured. Anyways, so probably let this sit for a little while and then warm it and go from there. Um, but the piece de la resistance was the almond croissant, you guys. That one, when I saw that that was in the bundle, that's when I went back because I bought, I think, three bars and did not put it in my club and so, so mad at myself. So, hence, I had to go back and pick up a crap load of that. So, that was my, I think my second, my second order, second or third order going back in. Um, <laughs> so crazy. Anyways, okay, so then for... I picked up some warmers and I picked up some bars. Um, I had to pick up the Dumbo. Had to pick this up. Um, miss, I didn't miss, I don't want to say I missed out on it like I didn't get it in time. I just wasn't paying attention to, to it. Um, I mean, to be honest, like I was very not narrow minded, but I just wasn't really paying attention. I just recently, uh, March is when I became a consultant. Um, I've been buying Sensi October of last year is when I really, really like started going stupid with Sensi. Um, but before that it was, I bought the Cinderella warmer and I bought a churro churro. I bought the bonfire beach. I bought, I think around the campfire and the, um, the cheesecake, the blueberry cheesecake. And it took, I mean, it literally, it took me a long, like I, I was just burning candles and, um, then I went back to buy more churro churro and it was gone because it was probably a year. I mean, I, 2019 is October, 2019 is when I got the Cinderella. And then I went back at, at 2021, 2022 to get churro churro and obviously it was gone. So like, I just wasn't, I wasn't, um, wasn't, I guess on the Scentsy wagon. Now, um, I'm driving the wagon. So, anyway, so this is the, the Dumbo. I'm excited to have that. That's going to be super cute in my library. That's where I have the majority of my Disney warmers. Um, I have the Mickey and Minnie in the, at the drive-in one here in my living room, but the rest of them are, um, on a bookshelf and I need to like figure out where I'm going to, it's also going to go my bookshelf, but I got to figure out how I'm going to tear it. So anyways, there's that. Um, the other one I got was for my, um, for my kitchen and it's the, the Marrakesh one. I wanted something a little softer. The one I have is like really bright and kind of, kind of old fashioned. I don't want to say old lady, but kind of old fashioned, um, dated. That's probably a better word for it. So, um, there you go. You've got that. And, um, this cell was, I was hoping for more stuff, but I mean, the fact that we got the, you know, a good discount. Oh, this is super pretty. So, that's what this is. This will be nice. Not so, not so bright in my kitchen. Cause sometimes I like to leave these on, um, throughout the night. It's kind of like a nightlight for my daughter when she wants to come downstairs. But, um, that, that other one is like super, super bright. And I don't know. 
So I might, we're getting ready to have a yard sale, so that might go in the yard sale. It's not one of my favorites, um, not even if I were to add a different light to it. So, all right, so that's that. Um, what do I have in here? Oh, I got, got a couple of pots, you guys. Um, vanilla bourbon. I got two vanilla bourbons. Oh, that's nice. That's fall. Oh, that's pretty. And actually, I, I feel like it's more vanilla caramel. But that'll be nice. Um, I usually use these pods in my car and upstairs in my closet. I have an outlet in there. So um, I just, I love everything in every room to smell pretty. And um, my closet does not go unnoticed. So... Okay, now I've got another box of bars. So this one I think is the one that I got two, two of the forest, two of the, um, the bakery. Um, and then I got a few other ones. I was really hoping there would be more. I was hoping Hocus Pocus. Oh, slept on that one too. And I'm mad. I, I have like two bars. Um, so slept on Hocus Pocus and I slept on Nightmare Before Christmas. So I was hoping there would be much more of that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, there we go. There's that. Excuse the noise. Excuse the noise. Got our little packs right here. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, okay, so we got ginger and spruce. Um, the majority of these, you guys, I have not smelt. Um, only because, once again, I'm new. And like I had, I, majority of what I did was bakery. Um, so I'm really trying to branch out. Um, so ginger and spruce, that's a no. Mm -mm. Um, no, I feel like, no, I feel like it's soap. I feel like someone else said that. I can't remember who said that. So. Um, you guys, some of my favorite Scentsy people. Um, so you have Chris from Dazzling, Dazzling Scents with Chris. Then you have, um, you have Eileen the Wax Queen. You have Morrison, Bl Morrison Blue, I think that's how you say it. You've got Heidi... Oh my gosh. I will link her down below. You have, um, oh my God, Melted, Melted Michelle. Maybe she was the one who said it. You have Martha's Fragrance Corner. You have Connor Loves Candles, but Connor usually just does candles. He doesn't, I haven't really seen him do wax melts. Then you have Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom. She does some wax melts. But I feel like I just saw someone saying that this reminded them of like a soap. And it was like in the 80s and 90s, maybe the 70s. Um, and they would come in like a small container covered in like a plastic. And there would be like different shapes. That's what I get with this. And that's a no. Um, then you have redwood and cedar. This one I'm hoping. Also a no. You guys. Ooh. No. I feel, I feel like I get cat pee. Oh, I feel like I just walked into 
like when my daughter hasn't done the cat box in a few days. That's what I get with this. Redwood and cedar. Nope. Amber hollow. Let's hope this is better because I'm going to be mad that I got a couple sets. Okay, that's better. This reminds me of... Okay, the bottom is definitely... I get pick up more spice on this one, which is good. I feel like I get a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spice. Definitely picking up some amber. So this is nice. The top... The top part I felt like I got um, like alphabet, the alphabet tomato soup. <laughs> I don't know. That's the vibe I got with that one. Let me know. Does anyone else get that with this? But this is um, definitely much, much better. Um, let's see here. Redwood and cedar. Um, red berry and spruce. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I like that. That's nice. This is like August, August, September. Like when it just starts to get cold, like super cold in the mornings. This is nice. I like this one. That's a keep up. Um, so roll the dice. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. oh. This is like minty and, and grass. I don't know the notes on this, but I'm picking up I'm picking up like mint and a little bit of mint or eucalyptus and grass. <sighs> I don't know about this one. I mean, it, it's not going to go in my donate pile. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Um, I'll put those away there. Um, so these are more the, the almond croissants. Breakfast in bed. Pink, pink sugarberry mint. Another almond croissant. Um, okay, we got a Palo Santo. Now, I like Palo Santo. This is a very, um, like a smoky, not masculine, but um, Palo Santo you find a lot in perfumes to kind of ground the perfume. So, I mean like, yeah, this is smoky. This is pretty, oh, I like it. Um, so this is, so Palo Santo is, you're gonna, once again, you're gonna find it in like perfumes and fragrance to help ground it. So even if you have like marshmallow and vanilla, something super sweet, sometimes you lose the essence of the fragrance when you make it overly sweet. You want something to kind of ground it. So that's why like in some of these, like my perfumes, I have like a salt and caramel. I have like, you need something earthy and a little um, and not sweet to kind of ground it. So it's like adding salt to your pastries, right? Because it's going to bring out the flavor. That's kind of what it is when, um, when you have scents like sandalwood and this guy, Palo Santo, um, in fragrance, whether it be perfume or home fragrance. This is nice. I like it. Cool. Not mad at it. Another Palo Santo. That one probably be I will probably vote that bad boy back if it ever comes back. Ginger spruce, absa smurfany nut, um, evergreen and grapefruit. I'm a little nervous about this one. Okay, this is actually really nice. This is um, 
Like this is one I would do um, throughout the winter season in the, like, it's a Christmas tree vibe. We have a, we have a false, a fake Christmas tree. So, um, I, and I miss that Christmas tree smell. So this is one I would probably like in alternate warmers do like bakery and then a few bars, a few bars. Well, I have a lot of warmers in my house, but a few, um, of these sprinkled throughout, um, to give it that nice Christmassy, warm, fuzzy feeling. Um, catching Z's. I have no idea. I, I didn't, I, I don't know. Did I order this or is it part of the, is this part of the, um, it must be part of the, um, the forest bundle must be. Oh, this is nice. Huh? I have no idea what's in it, but it's nice. I feel like I'm picking up like strawberry and vanilla. Um, there is a slight earthiness that I can't pick up. Um, Mar Martha's Fra Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner. She breaks her bars. This is nice. Um, I have no idea what's in it, but I'm not mad at it, and I'm glad I I'm glad I got it. So the catching Z's. And let's see here. Ugh, what is this? Uh, Zeppelin. Got two of those. I don't know what these are. Um, this is masculine. A little minty, probably some bergamot in here. Yeah, it's, it's cologne-y. I don't know. Um, I'll let it sit. Not my favorite, but I'm not, you know, might go good in the, in the bedroom. Um, what else? Um, there's the other Amber hollow. Uh, the vanilla waves, which makes me super happy. Um, my hero, that's cool. This isn't bad. Um, it's not overly, overly cologne-y. Oh yeah. It smells kind of soap, soapy. Like a, like a men's soap. Um, I was going to say Irish cream. What's that soap? Irish you know, mm, nah, I didn't like it. Um, okay. So here's the other catching Z's. Here's the other red, whites and berry pie. I need to get my big old head out of the screen when I'm doing this. There's the other breakfast in bed. Uh, we have feeling pine. Why did I get jalapeno? My nose is just, hold on. This will help. It's piney, but <coughs> I feel like I'm picking up like jalapeno or green pepper. Am I crazy? Someone answer me below. Am I crazy? I don't know. Doesn't say when it was. 
And it's an old bar, apparently, because it doesn't have all the stuff on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll let it sit for a little while, and then I'll try it. But I don't know. Um, another red, white. Berry pie. Um, pink sugar berry. I go put that there. Um, we have another of the red berry and spruce. Um, this one is surprisingly really good. I'm excited to have that. Um, okay. So then I got two of. I don't know why I got this because some um. FOMO. That's why I got it. And I love Wally, -E. but I got the classified. So once again, I'm <laughs> trying to go out of my comfort zone with the bakery and the firewood. Um, like I'm just trying to go out of my comfort zone and someone said this is kind of grassy. So, mm. um, okay. It's not bad. I just don't know what I would what I would melt with this, you guys, because once again, I don't have a lot. Like this feels like a summer. There's a sweetness to it. What am I picking up? I feel like I'm picking up a citrus. I don't know about this. I feel like I'm picking up a citrus. However, I feel like this is also a, like a summer and I don't have really like, what would you guys burn with this? Melt with this? Um, Sensi wise, I, I just don't know what I would melt with this. I have, I mean, I have the pina colada cha-cha. I have the pink coconut. I have the cocoa lime. I have the lemongrass. Is that what it is? Um, what would you melt with this? Please, please let me know. I'm keeping it, but just let me know. Um, okay, what? The rest is the Big Hero 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got ten of them. I am so sorry, Morris and Boo. Cause she, I just watched her video and she said it kind of jumped out of her cart when she was, I don't think it was me. It could have been, but it, I don't know. Anyway, so do you want a hug? Would you like a hug? Everyone was raving about this and that's also one that I slept on. Oh, that's not bad. It is. Wow. That is strawberry, raspberry. Is that what I'm picking up? Almost like a, almost like a cream, like a Shirley Temple vibe. I feel like that's what I'm getting. Like a, like a Italian soda, strawberry Italian soda vibe is what I'm getting. That's pretty nice. Okay. So that was it for the, um, the warehouse sale. That is it. I'm done with that. Um, the next one is the, so this is what I'm talking about. So this is a one that's the, um, the prairie pitcher. So this was in my kitchen and it's underneath where like our vitamins and coffee mugs are. And one of them dropped and broke the handle. So that one is upstairs in my bathroom now, and this is in, this is such a cute warmer, you guys. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to put a colored, if I'm going to put a colored bulb in here for the fall, or if I'm just going to, probably not. I'm going to, I know myself, I'm going to end up putting all kinds of fall stuff, fall warmers. Hey, so super cute. There's that. And it goes like that. 
super cute. So excited for that. That's going to get set up in my kitchen when I am done here. Um, and then I picked up some more bars that I just wanted to have a few on hand because I usually, so I usually try and combine vendor wax and my Scentsy bars um, just to kind of like share the wealth, share the love, share the load. Um, and some of them I only like have one bars up, one bar of, and I usually go through two bars, two Scentsy bars throughout my house, um, sometimes two and a half. Um, and sometimes I'll use a couple cubes of the, um, couple brick cubes and then vendor wax throughout. So I'm just trying to like really create this really feng shui vibe, um, with all the scents. So anyway, so some of these I only had like one of, um, and I knew I wanted more so I could like create the vibe. Um, so Bonfire Beach, which is in my club. Um, July is when my, my monthly and my quarterly get, um, get combined. So, um, yeah. And then June, I'm going to be adding more to my monthly, um, for the bring back my bar. Then we have the blueberry cheesecake. Um, this is a powerhouse, you guys. This one is, whoo, this is strong. I used two, I used like one and a half cubes throughout the house. And then I used, um, I used one, um, I think two bars, two and a half bars of sugar cookie of the bricks. Um, and then I used a few, um, like vendor wax one. It was like a strawberry, um, pie, like coconut type thing. So it was a bakery scent, um, because I kind of wanted to, this blueberry is strong. So, um, then Clementine cupcake, which I love and adore. This will probably not ever come out of my... Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. You definitely get the cupcake on this and I am, I am here for it. Um, the other one is, um, I got two of the sugared strawberry. This one surprised me. I ordered it and realized I really liked it and needed to order more. This is a really nice one. It's definitely a sugared strawberry. Um, so like I would probably... Um, like the vanilla buttercream or like the almond croissant or crumb top. Like I would kind of mix and match with that. So that's it for that box. Um, and then my last box, you guys, is just one item. This was a total FOMO and melt it. No. Um, Chris from dazzling sense with Chris. She talked me into it. She totally twisted my arm with this one. I wasn't going to do it, but this is one of my favorite, my second favorite princess other than Cinderella. I had to do it. Um, what stopped me in the first place was the base. The base just seemed kind of that cheesy, uh, the cheesy plastic fake gold. Um, like if it was a, um, a glass or I don't know, just something a little more, um, because the top, the porcelain top is stunning and beautiful. And I was just hoping that the whole, that whole vibe would just go to the base and it's kind of, mm, I feel like it's, it's just like they stopped. I don't know how else to say it. I, and I don't mean to sound like I'm mad at anything because I'm not. Um, okay. So this is, this is Belle and Beast. 
So there's that. And then you have the top. This is just, this top is so freaking pretty. Like that is just, that is so pretty. It's just the base that, that everyone kept talking about how stunning it was. And then Miss Chris. Um, I just don't like the way they painted. It looks plastic and I don't like the way they painted the bottom. But this, I mean, you guys really, that's so pretty. That top. So, um, I think you guys, that is it. That's it. I'm done. Um, I don't have anything else coming in and I don't have, I don't have anything else coming in June. I mean, I will be putting stuff. I might order some bars in June. I don't necessarily need to, but I will definitely be putting bars in my club for July. And, um, then I think the majority of what I'm going to be talking about with you guys is, just what I've been melting and what I've been burning because I have to get, I have to get through these and I can do it, but I, I have to do it. So anyways, um, you guys let me know. I mean, are, do you guys get FOMO like me? Because I, I wasn't going to get it. And then people talk about how pretty it is and how stunning it is. And I didn't want to miss out like I did with Hocus Pocus. Like I ended up having to go, on the black market and get the hocus pocus um warmer because i was like ah, i just i just now i bought the books the the potion book warmer um i don't need hocus pocus and i really regretted that so i didn't I, am i the only one so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe if you wanna and uh leave a comment uh, and, um, say hi, let's, let's talk. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.